Hi, I uh, just got the uh, the new, or at least I think it's the new um, propeller balancer from Hobby King. I do have uh, a small one, but this is a bigger one and takes bigger props and even takes uh, props for the DJI. Uh, not that I have one, I have uh, a quad like this, so I need to be able to balance big props like this. So let's take a look and see. Okay, uh, so let's open the box and let's take a look at the uh, at the um, propeller balancer, prop balancer. I do hope this uh, this rod is 100% uh, straight. So and. There is a manual. Step one, two, three, four. So, um, yes, let's uh, let's try to build it. Just try to build it. Get rid of the box there, <clears throat> and you can take off these cones. Oh. I don't know if we would be able to uh, to see if uh, well, it look it looks like it was straight. This is aluminium. It looks like it's good quality. It's it's a nice finish on it. Oh. There are some magnets, obviously. Some rods. And some screws and parts and stuff. So. There you go. So let me uh, stop the video for a minute and find the tools that I need. Okay, I found uh, the tools that I need. Uh, so I will uh, con uh, start building. And the first thing that I need to do is to uh, attach these. So let me do that. And what I need is the 2.5 the M 2.5 times 8 screws and I believe that that's these ones <clears throat> oh, I forgot to load my um, my tool here and what I need is not that one, I think it's this one Kind of have high hopes for this uh, balancer because I don't have a proper balancer for big props like the one that I have on my quad. There you go. Next is the uh, bottom plate there. I'm gonna put some rubber feet on. It's kind of important that the, uh, the rubber feet get into the uh, to the holes, the uh, the uh, yeah the holes that are in the bottom plate so that it doesn't wobble and so that the plate is straight and it feels it feels
feels good. So that's good. Next part is to mount the, this on there. And for that, we need some other screws. I need to put another tool on there. Try to tighten them as as good as I can. Like that. Uh, put that away. The next is to to take these two parts and there are differences in them and mount the, uh, the bearings. And for that, I'm going to use these M3 times 8 screws. And also, I need to There you go. Next part is to attach this one like that. And for that, I'm going to use the two M2.5 times 10. So that's this one. And for that, I'm going to need a different tool again. So this, this part here, they can be mounted uh, uh, for different places. Uh, so if we take a look at this part, you see there are four mounting holes. And this, this one can be mounted on the bottom two or the topmost two holes. Uh, it has different purposes. So they, they have uh, something they call the cant, cantlivier. I don't know, it sounds, it sounds like French. Um, but <clears throat> um, as described here, you have magnetic mode and you have bearing mode and you have magnetic plus uh, cantilever. I don't know how to pronounce that. It sounds like French. Um, anyhow, it's um, so basically you uh, mount those on the topmost to be able to uh, to balance the prop as as in this picture. So. I will try to, to, to do both. I will just going to use the bearing mode, the standard, uh, the standard uh, way to do it uh, first time, first time around here now. So let's just continue. Like that. And the next is to mount this one like that to this one. And for that, I need a different tool. So this one is supposed to be uh, kind of loose. So you can just swap it around. <clears throat> and then you lock it. You need a different tool again. You lock it in place uh, with some screws there. So there are some 
there are some screws involved if you want to change the, uh, the balancer mode. So I do believe that uh, if this mode works great for my use, I probably will just leave it like that. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Uh, then you have uh, different ways of, uh, of balancing it. This is the magneto way. This is the most common way to do it. But then I will swap, need to swap those around to have the, the magnetum, magnetum, the magnets to, to hold this. And the other one is the bearing mode, which is the one that I'm going to try. So to do that, <coughs> I will take the washer, the, uh, the spring, and I will put the, the prop in between. Like that. So I'll probably just squeeze squeeze it like that. So I will um, I will take off the props of my quad and I will try to balance them. So I have balanced this uh, this prop uh, before, uh, so it seems to be very balanced actually. So at least this one seems to be uh, perfectly balanced. So let's try another one. This one also seems to be uh, just fine. I was kind of hoping that uh, that I could find some uh, some vibration in these props because the um, my pickhawk is sometimes complaining about vibrations. So if it isn't the, the props, then it could be the engines. And for that, I will probably need to arrange some kind of a laser stand. But uh, this props also seems to be, seems to be fine. But, um, Anyway, um, I think I think the um, I think you get the point. There are different ways of. Uh, I don't think the magnetic way is uh, better than this bearing bearing mode, as they call it. But it could be that the uh, the uh, uh, cantilever uh, is uh, is could be better. Could be. I don't know gonna go in like that you have to raise these and go in like that and it's gonna be uh, prop is gonna be out here then I don't know if that makes any difference but 
uh, I think this is going to be a, a way better than uh, the one that I had. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. But then again, I think it's it is extremely important that that we, you keep this uh, store in a separate place so you doesn't you don't bend it because if it bend if you bend it it's broken. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.